I build objects. Clay is my ink. Shapes are my letters. Form is my syntax. And structure is my synopsis. My works have a beginning, middle, and end. Although I fully understand the complexities of clay bodies, their individual characteristics, varying fluidity, post-fire transformations, it is the touch, the grab, the pounding, the pushing and slashing that resolve into affectionate caresses. Infinite possibilities parade themselves before my eyes. So those are words by Graham Todd. I've always sort of been impressed by them. The nature of what Graham could do in terms of the, the collisions of, of form, the collisions of materials, the kind of examination of, of these biomorphic shapes that are obviously, you know, stored somewhere in, in the way the mind works and how materials then uh, engage from that place in the mind and in the imagination. And his command of, of the simple traditional materials like bronze, and clay are pretty, pretty fantastic in, in what you see around the room. And also the hybridization of how he uh, uses the forms that uh, interlace with each other, I always find uh, really quite playful and lyrical. And I think play, uh, for me, is really critical in all artwork. I think if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Graham engaged with, their, with the students who uh, tried to keep things interesting for himself and the students. And I think ultimately that's a, a beautiful sign of respect for the process of, of uh, uh, pedagogy itself, right? Uh, respect for you, respect for the materials, respect for the processes, because clearly he, uh, you know, he has uh, had a very strong command of, of process. Most of you know bronze is a 10,000-year-old material that's been part of the human, uh, part of human expression for, for 10,000 years, beginning with copper castings that we found in the Alps that are over 10,000 years old. But what I see in Graham's work, too, is that kind of respect for the, the tradition and the history of that material. And of course, he also makes it do things that it doesn't necessarily like to do a lot, which is the high polish, that incredible uh, facility with uh, creating a beautiful, slick, slick surface. Um, and I, I love the fact that then when you look at uh, works that have that highly reflected surface, of course, it starts to engage in some level uh, everything around it in some way. So it becomes a kind of a beautiful, inclusive mirror. It's one of the, the great things uh, about someone like Graham as well, is that he was able to continue working um, not give up and be able to still, uh, you know, bring that, uh, bring that enthusiasm back into the classroom. And I think, and you can see it in the work. There's, the work is very, as I mentioned earlier, very playful, very enthusiastic, and it has this sense of, um, of adventure. And, um, and, and um, so there's a kind of pleasure in the work to me every time I look at it. When you see elements like this, sort of, you know, you can hear them almost, the point that these things tend to have an acoustic dimension sort of built into them by association alone. So, so the work themselves, even though the, you don't hear any sounds coming from them, one can anticipate what, that, what those forms could evoke. And that evocation, I think, is, is, is also quite compelling in his work. I mean, I'm th personally really thrilled by those three pieces at the back. They're probably my favorites in the show. I find that that kind of uh, wacky, beautiful, uh, playful way to treat a material as resilient as bronze can be although it, it is poured in a liquid state, and you do direct its, its liquid state, but uh, at the same time, the kind of gossamer nature of the material that he was able to exploit, and at the same time, those beautiful textures that he was able to exploit, and then the, the, the crazy juxtapositions of, of, of the elements, you know, including the matrix of clay, which is probably what he started with most. So the idea that he uses the matrix of clay, which talks to his history, and then augments that with the addition of an element uh, like bronze. So they, and, and they're open in terms of interpretation. He doesn't seem to be very didactic at all about what, how he loads meaning in, in his work, which leaves an open poetic approach for, for anyone looking at the work for the first time. And certainly anybody with a bit of information can locate that work within particular kinds of histories as well. So, and I wanted to, again, thank you for inviting me to, to say a few words, and also to invite you to really uh, examine uh, and uh, you know, embrace uh, the, the playful, uh, lovely, um, work that Graham Todd left us.